Yeah, it's so great to see you guys. Come on, hello. Uh, uh, you're here on a, on a perfect day. It is Global James Bond Day. And you both wrote and recorded the theme song, which is awesome. I love it. Uh, I, I want to know everything. I want to know how it all came together. I want to know every single, just go for like two hours. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it was a crazy, surreal experience. Um, I don't remember when it all kind of started was real, but I do know that for, for many years we've wanted to um, write a Bond song. Not even like we thought we could, it was just more like a fantasy, a fantasy, like a complete fantasy, like how cool would it be to do this, you know? Um, but I think it was last summer-ish, um, it, it started being a topic of discussion and, and not a fantasy, and it was very insane to us. Um, yeah, it was it was a couple months of, of very, um, like, disbelief, I think. <laughs> Were there scraps of songs that you tried? You're like, I think I got it. This is No Time to Die. And like, no time to die. Up, 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 no time <laughs> to die. Ooh, and then you go, okay, let me just come back. Let's do this tomorrow. Or, or, is there, or did you know immediately, like, oh, this is the tune? You know, what's funny is that we kind of started with um, making sure we got, like, a melody that we felt was really solid before we tried any lyrics out. But we did definitely, you know, before we had written anything, go, like, I, we both think it's really important to have the title of the movie in the song and have the song be called that because it just... It wouldn't have been satisfying otherwise, and so yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. it was a lot of, like thinking, how would we make that make sense? What could we say? What could we, um, whatever? So it was, it was kind of, we were kind of stuck for like a few, the first few days we tried to work on it. We were like, you know, it's a lot of precious Bond song. It's like, what are you supposed to? So we were pretty stumped, and then there was just one day where. Phineas was playing on the piano and he just played this one melody and it was just that da 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 and we were just like yes it's like dude it's so perfect you go cuz they all have that like mysterious they have like a mystique to those the bond themes it was like yeah. it's like da -da -da -da. Or like it's it's weird progression but then you got that, uh, it, and it's almost like that one i don't even know what chord it is but it's like that ring yeah it's, you know, with the jangly guitar, and you're like, oh, it, 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 I don't know. Did they like it as soon as you sent it to him? Did they have notes? Hans Zimmer loved it. I know that. He was the one. I know that he he really connected to it, which was crazy for us. Hans Zimmer. Um, yeah, the I know. How was that but whole thing? It was crazy. It was. Um, he's a doll. He's such a a joy, and he his his main. Um, thing was that he wanted us to just see the movie before we, um, like, just so that we, we, we knew. So we, we flew out to London and we watched the movie, which was, you know, like a, a rough cut, I guess, a year ago-ish, uh, under a year ago. And then we worked with him for like a week-ish. Um, and it Had was an amazing. an orchestra. It was really it cool. It was really amazing. <laughs> he, he's so cool. Yeah. I mean, how fun is that? How does it work with an orchestra? Like... Can you change things or they just kind of know what's already written? They go, we're just doing this. Dude, that's such a good question. And I, I would have thought that you couldn't change stuff once it was written. But all day, Hans, Stephen Lipson, who also helped produce the song with us, and, and we would lean in. We'd go like, could we have them try something a little bit like spookier here? And they, they would go to the spookier. orchestra and say, like, do this. And they would change was, in real time. It was crazy. Like all 70 people. Everyone was so good. It was incredible. That's pretty cool. I, you both did a uh, virtual performance. Uh, at the DNC, I think it was my future, and uh, it was great. Everyone looked for people were like, "This was so good." And before uh, you performed, Billy, you spoke. Uh, why, why was that important to you? Um, to be honest, I just think it was a my responsibility to do that. I um, I really couldn't want to be involved in pod politics less. I, I, I would literally rather do anything else than be talking about this and be doing anything. And I just think that that's not, um, I think that that should show you how much this actually means right now. Because even with me, who is somebody that like, I used to just 
you know, completely shut up. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to hear anybody's opinions. I don't want to give my own opinions. You know, I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to think about it. There just comes a certain point where like you can't just ignore be, it. Yeah, you can't ignore it. You can't be silent. And I think that it's especially having the platform that I have, I don't want to waste that. So um, I think it's really important that we all talk and speak up, even if we'd rather die. <laughs> yeah. You know? I think it was really cool that you uh, did that. Um, Phineas, last time you were, you were on the show, we talked about how you and, and Billy work everyday sounds into your songs. You actually played me like a crosswalk beeping or something. It was so, it was mind blowing. Uh, I, I, I was wondering if you, you wouldn't mind showing us how, how you do some of it. Absolutely. So um, thank you for segueing into this. And thank you also for being generous enough to send me your four recordings that you sent. Just for, for the audience, I'm gonna play a couple of them. This is, this is my personal favorite one. Jimmy Bond. I like that one a lot. Oh, God. Jimmy I really Bond. like, Billy, I like Jimmy Bond a lot. Like Please, Jimmy, Jimmy Bond. Yeah, that one's great. Vote. You saying vote is great. <laughs> I figured why not. I like, this one, this one's great. Shaken, shaken. You sing Shaken? Oh, Shaken, it's great. Like shaken, yeah. I thought that could be the name of our song, our Bond song. It's great. That's, that's what it should be, <laughs> the name of it. And then you sent me this file of you singing, which is great. Time to die, no time. No time to die. Which is awesome. No I wish time. I wish we'd had that when we first started uh, writing the song, because that would have been great. So I'm going to try to make, if it's OK with you, <laughs> I'm going to try to make a beat really quickly out of the samples you sent me. Does that sound okay? I'm freaking out right now. I'm like, everything's okay. falling off. I'm freaking out right now. What I can do? Okay, so here. So here's Jim your... start with Jimmy Bond. Jimmy Bond. Jimmy Bond. But I'm going to pitch it down. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy Bond. Very cool. Very, very metal. Jimmy Bond. Jimmy Bond. Jimmy Bond. Jimmy, Jimmy Bond. Jimmy Bond. Yeah. Jimmy Bond. Jimmy Bond, Jimmy, Jimmy Bond, Jimmy Bond, Jimmy Bond, Jimmy Bond, Jimmy, Jimmy Bond, Jimmy Bond, Jimmy Bond, Jimmy Bond, Jimmy, Jimmy Bond. I love it. Jimmy Bond, 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 Jimmy 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 you are a genius you are brilliant you are brilliant oh my gosh uh, that is what I'm talking about. Two of the most talented people out there. Thank you guys so much.